Hello everybody, Hooded Cobra Commander 788 here and it's time for another unboxing video, unboxing donations that I received to the P.O. Box in the month of November 2019. I've got a little different setup this time. Um, I thought it might just be easier to do it this way. Um, I had been doing it on my big table, but that requires me to move a lot of things around. And this setup does not require me to move a lot of things around. So I'm hoping that it'll just be a bit easier uh, than past videos. But hopefully uh, you will still get a good experience out of it. These are the things that I got in November. Uh, at the P.O. Box, I always remind everyone, you do not have to send anything to me. Um, I'm not asking for donations. Um, it really is enough for me to just have you watching the videos. I'm very grateful to have you here. I'm very grateful to have you going on this journey with me. And so you don't have to send things to me in order for me to appreciate you. Um, uh, that being said, the donations from viewers have really helped the channel in a lot of ways. Uh, they've gotten things uh, for me to review. Uh, that's allowed me to review things much earlier than I would otherwise have been able to. To show my appreciation, when you guys send something to me, I'm going to make sure to put it on camera in a video like this, uh, showing everybody what you sent and expressing my appreciation for it. Uh, so, um, so that's what we're going to do now. So thank you to everyone who sent stuff in. Uh, we got something here from another YouTuber. Uh, we got uh, something here from another Oki. And we got two boxes here from Brandon Knight, a longtime friend of the channel. All right, I'm on my small table here. Um, that's one consequence of doing it this way, is I don't have the big table, I have the small table. Uh, but it still should be fine. Uh, I have four packages here to open, and um, I actually just checked the P.O. box before I recorded this video. I want to make sure that I got everyone in uh, for November that actually sent something and that arrived in November. Uh, so there was this one, which I guess I will start with, uh, that I picked up in the post office today. And this is from, I'm going to set these others aside for now, um, this is from uh, Kevin Jones, otherwise known as SEO Toy Review on YouTube. Uh, he's got a great toy review channel. Uh, make sure you check out SEO Toy Review. Well, um, he told me he was going to send something, and here it is. So uh, I've already cut this open. Um, I will cut open the other boxes, you know, off camera just so to make it easier to pull things out. But I already cut this open uh, so I can just pull it straight out, and we can see what it is. And the first thing we have is a letter. That, I like this. Paper email. Uh, and uh, yes, the subject matter uh, gives away what's in the envelope. Uh, it says, hey hoodie, uh, know your stalker needed an upgrade. Have a few straight arms laying around. Glad uh, it can go to help fix up a figure. Uh, and that's, that's exactly what it is. My straight arm stalker figure has... Um, broken thumbs. And so we have right here uh, a straight arm for Stalker. There we go. A straight arm for Stalker with an intact thumb. So finally I can have Stalker. It looks like his, uh, his left arm. His left arm is kind of finally have a thumb. So uh, thanks Kevin. Uh, I guess uh, Kevin noticed uh, after I posted my 1982 retrospective video that uh, my stalker uh, was thumbless so he wanted to help out a little bit uh, thank you very much uh, for that Kevin and thanks for all the great content that you do and thanks for your help uh, uh, that, th thanks for the help that you've given to me uh, the collaborations have been fun thanks for taking part in Cobra Convergence each year um, uh, I just love what you do, and I really appreciate this. Thank you. This counts as a letter, and I do keep all of these. Uh, so thank you, Kevin, and I can add this to my memories uh, of you guys. So there is letter from Kevin. Uh, goes right in there, so I can keep it for all time. Let's look at the next one, and the next one is from Chris. Looks like Chris... Um, I'm not sure about his last name here, but I do notice um, that he is from Oklahoma. So am I. So this is from a fellow Oki. Uh, thank you for that. And uh, since I've already cut the tape, I'm just going to pull it right out of the box. Ah, and here we go. 
uh, another letter. Uh, thank you, Chris. And his name is uh, uh, Chris uh, Gatliff. Chris Gatliff, thank you very much. Uh, his letter says, Dear HCC788, uh, Hi, my name is Chris Gatliff. I really enjoy your YouTube channel. I saw it from uh, Retro Blasting. Uh, uh, I've worked with Retro Blasting a couple times. They're great people. I really like G.I. Joe. I have many things from when I was a kid. I have the whale and many others. That's cool. That's cool. Um, would like to start collecting again, but I am a mint inbox type of guy, uh, which can get really expensive. Yes, and getting more expensive by the day. Uh, thanks for all your work. Hope you like what I sent. Thanks, Chris. Uh, thank you very much, Chris. And again, keeping this letter. Uh, don't throw. I don't throw away any of those letters. And so let's see what Chris sent. Um, it is okay. Oh, which do I open first? Um, I'm not sure what this paper roll is, so I'm going to uh, do this first. Um, let's see, should I cut the tape? I don't know if it's if it's safe to peel because um, I'm not sure if this paper should be or could um, could be torn if I try to peel it. So I'm just going to carefully cut the tape carefully cutting the tape because I don't know what it is and I want to be on the safe side trying to cut the tape come on now tape there we go I safely cut the tape and okay the outside paper roll was just protective very good um, oh I know what these are this is cool these are copies of I gotta zoom in on these uh, copies of the character model sheets for the G.I. Joe animated series. And we've got the Baroness there. Uh, let's see, what's the date on this? I, yeah, this is for Deke Animation. So this is for the Deke Stere series. There's my favorite right there. There's Stalker. Oh, who else we got? Oh, this is cool. This is a, this is great reference material too. We got, we've got the Hooded Cobra Commander. And Come on. There we go. Yeah, the uh, the bat leader, which I guess is supposed to be overkill. Uh, that's awesome. So uh, these are copies, obviously, uh, but these are part of GI Joe history. This is um, these are model sheets for the. Um, for the animated series. This is what the uh, animators used as a guide for how the characters were supposed to look. Um, it seems it seems we, we do have a uh, a nude Baroness on there, you know, just in case they ever needed to, she ever appeared nude in the series. We've got one just sort of over the shoulder, um, but uh, but apparently topless. Uh, you never know. You know, the, the scriptwriter might want a, a topless scene with the Baroness, and they got to be prepared to animate that. So um, th that's awesome. Thank you very much for that. Um, there is one other thing in here that is bubble wrapped, and let's check it out. Uh, and it is, oh yeah, okay. I mentioned before supplies are important uh, and necessary, and we have O-rings and screws. Uh, very important. Um, I frequently get low on O-rings. Replacing O-rings is a fact of life for G.I. Joe collectors. Um, and we have some, ah, some accessories. A bag of accessories. Let's see what we got here. Now, of course, they're black, and I'm wearing a black t-shirt. Now, this is how it goes. If I wear a black t-shirt, you guys will send something that is black that doesn't contrast with the t-shirt and then if I wear a white t-shirt then you guys will send something white and that you know I don't know how you guys guess which t-shirt I'm gonna wear for the unboxing when I don't even know uh, that's amazing um, but let's uh, carefully uh, pull these out here oh there's quite a variety here um, we've got uh, some Zarena um, whatever you call that, that fan uh, saw gun um, that I believe that is no that it's not quite the one from 
um, uh, ambush. Um, we've got a spear that I think goes with um, undertow, and just a variety of things here. And I'm going to go through these later so I can um, pick out more specifically what they are. It looks like we've got some modern accessories as well. Uh, so cool. So thank you for that, Chris. Very much appreciated. Uh, nice to get a package from a fellow Oki. And finally, we have two boxes from Brandon Knight. Brandon Knight's been a friend of the channel for a long time, so thank you, Brandon. Uh, this box I got early in the month, and the other box I got just a few days ago. And that other box is really heavy, um, but I'm going to open this one first. I've already cut open both boxes, so it'll be easier to pull things out. So here we go. Um, it is, uh, whatever it is, it's well packed, multiple layers of bubble wrap here. Um, Brandon always packs stuff very well, so thank you, Brandon. Uh, nicely done. Uh, we have a letter, and it looks like, yes, uh, judging from the uh, size of the letters, I will need to get my glasses so I can read this. One moment. Okay, dear HCC788, if he gives away anything uh, that's in the box, I'll, I'll stop reading, uh, but uh, let's see what he says. The end of year 2019 is near, but 2020 is going to be a great year. I hope so. As the chapter of another year ends, the next year chapter begins. Let us remember and reflect on the wonderful memories we have made. There have been a lot of great memories in 2019. Uh, it was the best of times, it was the worst of times. In some ways, uh, that is very accurate. Uh, tell, uh, let's, let us keep making new friends and keep uh, growing our community. Our stories and love of G.I. Joe will keep going on as long as someone keeps the torch uh, light and going, lit and going. Uh, I look forward to see what happens to Cobra Convergence uh, 5. Yeah, Cobra Conver fifth year of Cobra Convergence yet next year. Can you believe it? Uh, now to the important part. What's in the box? What's in the box? What's in the box? Um, in this box are special items for you to enjoy. Also, maybe in the future you can review these items uh, to help grow your, uh, the community even bigger. I uh, thought it would be fun to expand the, uh, our G.I. Joe family, and you are the perfect man for the job. <laughs> Thank you very, very much. Uh, please, uh, plus, something new and different you can try. I am trying to push for an agenda. Hmm, maybe. Uh, so he's got an agenda here. Let's see. Um, enjoy and never stop playing with your dolls. <laughs> uh, let's make 2020 the best year for reviews, uh, Tuesday live stream, and Joe Fest. That's right, Joe Fest coming up next year. Um, your pal, Brandon, aka Night Viper. Uh, you uh, look really, uh, if you look really hard uh, in this box, there's a piece of cake just for you. It will be the best cake you ever had. Enjoy, you deserve this cake, and you will know why. Hmm. All right, cryptic. So let's see what's in the box. Let's check it out. More bubble wrap, very nicely packed. No damage could possibly come to this because it is very well packed. Well done, Brandon. Um, and yes, here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh, I know, I know what this stuff is. And I think some of you guys probably know what this stuff is too. Um, well, first of all, we have, um, Version, I think version 2 of the Flak Viper with file card, which is great because as you know, I review the file cards too, so it's important to have a file card. And uh, looking in here, um, there's, there's a lot of uh, not Joe stuff, so, but stuff that G.I. Joe fans, especially for my era, will probably remember. Let's start going through them, shall we? Uh, first of all, we've got a bunch of uh, the core. This is the, uh, the core. Uh, he's got a nicely uh, labeled here. Thank you. Uh, the core. Hammer, 1986. The core. Boomerang Billy. I remember this figure. Um, uh, uh, Gunner O'Grady, 1986. I remember this figure. I did get the core uh, figures. Um, uh, sometimes just to, to use as extra guys because I needed extra guys. They were cheap. They were cheap back then. Um, and sometimes just um, for parts because later in my G.I. Joe fan experience, I started doing customizing and a lot of these parts were compatible with G.I. Joe. So I got a bunch of these figures. The, the core, John Eagle. 
uh, Croc 1986. Um, I'm gonna carefully set these aside because there's there's a good number of them. Oh, we got some more accessories here, and these look like uh, accessories from the core and the other figures that are in here. I'm not gonna pull these out because I don't want them to go over everywhere and get lost. Uh, we have a uh, a bipod and a uh, looks like a scythe. Um, but these, these are not the core figures. This is U.S. Forces, American Force, uh, bush, uh, brush fire, uh, by Remco. And I did get some of these Remco figures. Uh, you may or may not remember when I opened my, uh, toolbox that had the last few parts of my childhood collection, there were some parts in there of these, American Forces Renko figures, uh, also used for customizing back then. This is Jungle Raider, Renko, um, Protector, Renko 1986. Uh, really fascinating, and you know, they, they don't look too out of place next to G.I. Joe. Uh, but of course, that's they were designed that way, right? They were designed to be, uh, this is the core, uh, Large Sarge. They were designed to kind of appeal to the same kids that were buying G.I. Joe. And, you know, also be just a little little less expensive. It, it, it hooked me in, because I got a bunch of them. Captain Combat, Remco. And I think this is the last one. Uh, junkyard from the core 1986 awesome stuff there is still more stuff in here there's a backpack um, oh yeah this thing is uh, is packed um, we've got some plastic bags for uh, what looks like packing material um, and we've got an envelope filled with plastic bags Um, and let's see. Ah, here we go. Yeah, we've got some card protectors uh, and some small plastic bags. So these um, these will help uh, keep me from having to steal uh, uh, storage bags from my house. And these are actually the right size too for accessories and stuff. Uh, so that's cool. And um, digging deeper, I see a uh, what is either a letter or a post-it note. <laughs> All right, very funny. <laughs> the cake is a lie. All right, look, I already pulled that trick on Timmer, uh, so I guess uh, I guess I deserved this. So <laughs> that's very clever, Brandon. Thank you very much. Uh, I got a kick out of that. So uh, thanks, and we still have one more box from Brandon, a really heavy box, and let's open that now. All right, you may be surprised how many G.I. Joe fans also collect um, the core and the uh, Remco figures, or you may not be surprised. If you're from my era, you probably remember those figures. Um, I wouldn't exactly call them knockoffs. They weren't knockoffs, really. Uh, they weren't trying to, like, recreate, you know, something that, you know, precisely looked like G.I. Joe characters, but they were G.I. Joe compatible and definitely intended to appeal to G.I. Joe fans, um, but uh, my recollection is they were often quite a bit cheaper. You could get a multi-pack of them for, like, the price of uh, a couple G.I. Joe figures, and of course that appealed to me, especially when I was customizing uh, for the parts, and they had some really nice, you know, military colors, uh, military uniforms that I didn't have to paint over very much. Uh, in that era, G.I. Joe was getting a lot more colorful, a lot more neon, a lot more purple. And a lot of those I painted over with, like, modeling paint. Not very well, but, you know, that's, uh, that's what I did. Well, these uh, Remco figures and a lot of the core figures had some nice colors that I didn't need to paint over. So I was a big fan of them at the time. It's really cool to uh, uh, to see these figures again because I remember having a lot of those figures back in the day. Um, all right, here is Brandon's uh, second box and the last box we'll be looking at. Uh, again, nicely packed, plenty of packing material. Uh, no harm could possibly come to this package because um, it is uh, very solidly packed. Um, and we have 
uh, a letter and grab my glasses. Um, it says, uh, Dear HCC788, glad the show and the community keeps on growing. Also, we keep making new friends along the way. Yes, and that's what it is really about. Um, it's amazing how time has gone by once we were playing our, our toys, reading comics, watching cartoons. It's strange how G.I. Joe changes each decade. Um, even though we can't go back to a time when it was great to be a kid, we can share those memories and keep them alive. That we can do. Unfortunately, there's no time machine, um, but honestly, now it can be even better because we can remember um, the better times and kind of uh, we don't have to bring back the, the, the things that are not such good memories. Uh, we can remember the better things of our childhood. Um, uh, today's generation spent too much time on games and phones, don't know how much fun it is to play with toys and use imagination. Kids and parents need to get back into playing with toys and reading comics. That's why every year at the farmer's market I, uh, in town I sell comics. Okay, cool. Um, I was a big comics fan too. Uh, introduced to comic books through G.I. Joe. G.I. Joe was my first comic book. Uh, enjoy it and uh, love doing it. Always wanted my own comic shop. Well, this is the closest I will ever get. Uh, now inside the box is something different for a change. Thought you would enjoy new adventures. Enjoy the past in a whole new way and see something you have never seen before. There are many items for you, but there is one first item for Susan. Okay, Susan, Mrs. HCC, get something in here. Um, you might want to pause the video and have her enjoy the surprise. I hope uh, you both enjoy the items you get. want to wish you both a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Cobra Claws are coming to town. Yes, it is about that time of year. Uh, so thank you, Brandon, keeping that with the other letters. And right off the bat, right off the bat here on top we have, it looks like it's all, it's, I think it's all comic books. So that's why it's so heavy. There's a bunch of comic books in here, a lot of them. Um, and right off the bat, we have Legends of Dark Claw uh, with a story by Larry Hama. Um, I'm a big fan of Larry Hama, um, and uh, I haven't read as much of his other work outside of G.I. Joe, but I've read some of it, and I'm happy to get more of it so I can kind of explore his career uh, beyond the pages of G.I. Joe. Because Larry Hama, honestly, has done a lot. He's done just a lot more than you think even if you think he's done a lot, he's probably done more than that. Um, amazing stuff. And then we got um, G.I. Joe European Missions. That is a new phase of G.I. Joe that uh, uh, I am less familiar with, but I am interested in. We have... Now here is something I remember, okay? I, I totally remember this. Um, the A-Team. Look at that. We got a couple issues of the A-Team here. Uh, <laughs> love this stuff. It's so out there. It's um, but I, it's just so fun. Um, yeah, I, uh, TV's blockbuster adventure show is now a Marvel comic. Check that out. I guess I don't need those anymore. Uh, lovely, lovely. And we have the Nom, which is another series that um, that I enjoyed a lot. Oh, there's there's the one I found the one for Susan. I'm gonna I'm gonna pull that one out. I'll sh I'll show that to her later. Um, but I don't want to spoil this price. Um, so oh, in Indiana Jones, we have a couple issues of Indiana Jones. And yeah, when I was a kid, I absolutely did get these uh, movie adaptations of uh, of the movies that I like. And this is the Further Adventures of Indiana Jones. Uh, so um, and was, was that? Before or that's got to be oh that's that looks like Temple of Doom stuff there, so um, and yeah oh yeah now you want to talk about um, classic war comics from Marvel, Sergeant Fury and his Howling Commandos. I have some from this era. It's it, it's it was a different era. I've read some of the ones from this era, and it was a different time, different way of telling telling stories, different types of stories. Uh, just not what my era was used to at all. Um, Fighting Marines. Uh, we got oh yeah uh, from Charlton Comics. More Fighting. How many have, oh how many issues of Fighting Marines do we have? Oh cool, we got a, a nice run of Fighting Marines. So this will be something that I can um, 
that I can dig into a bit and actually read a series of stories. That's cool. Um, and we can't have fighting Marines without fighting Army. Um, and this, okay, these, okay, there's more than just fighting Army here. Um, I don't know if Brandon intended me to go through each one, but I'm, I, I want to, because I want to see what's here. So we have, oh, we have a good run of Fight in Army 2 uh, from Charlton uh, Comics Group. Um, yeah, it's got that old comic, that old comic book smell. Uh, just can't get it with, uh, with the electronic media. Uh, so, oh, I like this. Um, all these have like these hot pink ads for military diamond sales. That's I get nostalgic about the ads in comics as well. Um, battlefield action. Charlton did a bunch of uh, of war, war comics. Um, the Iron Corporal. That's one that I remember finding in like some old comic shops. I remember that title. Um, battlefield action. Kill Joe. Of the uh, the nickname of of Joe or GI Joe for American soldiers has been around for a very long time, much longer than the toys. Um, so yeah, battlefield action. Uh, great art on these covers. Um, yeah, I can't wait to like really dig into these. Uh, so that's that's why this box is so heavy. It's filled with, filled with some amazing comic books that I can't wait to read. Thank you very much, Brandon, and thanks for being a friend of the show for such a long time. Really appreciate your support, um, and uh, all I can say is thank you. And that's everything we got in the month of November 2019. Thank you, thank you, everyone uh, who sent stuff. I want to remind everyone, you do not have to send anything to me. Um, if you do want to send something to me, I will put the P.O. box on the screen right now, but please remember that I'm not asking for anything. If you do want to send something, I will put it on camera. I'll, I'll show everybody. I will uh, say thank you, um, and you know, eventually I, I may end up reviewing it if it's the type of thing that I review on this channel. Uh, so, um, so, so thank you. If I get more uh, packages in the P.O. Box uh, in the month of December, we will do another one of these videos in January. And if I don't get anything, then I won't do another video, and that is absolutely fine as well. Uh, I am just happy to have you watching the videos. I'm happy to have you interacting. I'm happy to have you uh, going on this collecting journey with me. So thank you for that. Um, but that's all for now. Um, you should have a, another vintage G.I. Joe toy review coming up this Sunday. I hope you enjoy that. We'll be taking a little bit of time off uh, in the month of December uh, because of the holidays, but you'll still get uh, a good amount of content and I think some pretty cool stuff. So thanks everyone for watching. I'll see you soon. And of course, remember that only G.I. Joe is G.I. Joe, but the core is, is pretty cool too.